Welcome to tonight's show. I am Mrs. Petty. I am the choir director at the high school, as well as one of the directors for this show. We are so glad that you decided to spend your Friday night with us here at the Good Night. You're in for a real treat. These kids have worked super hard. They put in lots of hours, lots of time um, into rehearsals. And so we hope you enjoy a final product. Um, first, if you would please take out your cell phones at this time and silence them and put them on airplane mode, that would be great, or turn them off because it will interfere with our sound equipment. We've got lots of instruments plugged in, we've got lots of head mics. All right, so if you could please do that, that would be greatly appreciated. I have several thank yous tonight. This show would not be possible without them. First, I would like to thank the Good Night for letting us use this facility. And I would like to thank Ronnie Bennett and the Arts Council for all that they have done for us. I would like to thank Mr. Tim Schlosser, the principal of the high school, for all of his support throughout this entire process. Anything that we needed, he was there. So thank you for that. You will see lots of artwork on stage. And Mrs. Angie Garano, the art teacher at the high school, was very generous. And the art students worked the last two weeks to finish those for us. And we greatly appreciate that. <laughs> Miss Allie Metter, she's a teacher at the high school. And she's my right arm. Anything that I need, I call her, and she does it for me. So thank you so much. She designed the program. She made the programs for us, and lots of other things. She helped design the t-shirt and all sorts of things. So thank you, Ali. <laughs> Gerald Prinning did our tickets for tonight, and they also made our t-shirts. They printed our t-shirts. So we're very thankful for Gerald Prinning. Also, <laughs> And last but not least, I'd like to thank all the parents that have been so supportive and helpful the past several months. Um, in the last two weeks, we've had food and water every night for rehearsals. We've had four-hour rehearsals every night here. So that is greatly appreciated, and we could not do it without you. So thank you, parents, for helping us. And I'd like to thank Dylan Holder, who is... Man band. He does just about everything, but he's done all of our decorations. He's doing the lights back there. He's running around doing everything that we need. So, me and Miss Lindsay love you, Dylan. Thank you so much. All right, without further ado, me and Miss Lindsay would like to introduce to you Disney's High School Musical on stage.
welcome moving to be such a drag. Did you at least do something fun over the winter break? Oh, you know, my mom took me on a ski trip, but all I did was read. Excellent, another bookworm. With all those cute boys on the slopes, why do you think Prada makes all that fabulous a free ski wear? Loser! Well, um, I actually did meet a boy. See, so many of the news flash, sister. I'm all ears. It was the best trip. The slopes were perfect. And I met the hottest little snow bunny ever. You'll never guess who I met it. How can you? Snow bunny? Snow bunny. See me? He was pretty good, too. Man, she was so hot, the slopes turned to slush. She has no control.
the very first morning announcements of the brand new year. This is Jack Scott of the Velvet Fog of East High. With our new 411 on what's going down and coming up this week. The Science of Catholic finals are on Friday. So see Taylor Learning, Kara McKessie for more skating on Gooey. Now during the period today, the Science Club in room 213, especially over the AV Club in room 312. The next two and a half sessions, reverse and all the schedules for the second half of the morning quarter. The Sky Club will be meeting on roof deck at 3 p.m. And the first day club will be waiting for the parking lot below. All for now, peeps. Thing. 
too much for them to handle? It was cool, but my friends, that's not, that's not what I do. That was like a different person. Pretty crazy, right? Meeting up like this again? Hey, I was gonna call you, like, a bunch of times. And? And, you know, I mean, I... Uh, you chickened out? Kinda. Cool. Hey, so now that you've met Darvis Deranged, I'm sure you can't wait to sign up for the musical. Oh no, I won't be signing up for anything here for a while. I just want to get to know the school. But if you sign up, I can consider coming to the show. That's completely impossible. I wouldn't think impossible's even in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to throw our new student around. Troy is such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team, just how I'm the star of the drama club. We're perfect for each other, don't you think? So, are you going to eat lunch with me today, Troy? Oh, Joe, look at that! The sign-ups for the musical. Oh, were you going to sign up too? I'm sure we could find something for you. The ugly old nurse looks like lots of fun. Oh no, I was just going over the bulletin board. Lots going on at this school. Well, nice penmanship. Thanks. I missed you during vacation, Troy. What'd you do, hmm? Practice basketball, snowboarding, more basketball. Oh, I should go practice and all. You are so dedicated, just like me. Promise you'll come see me in this new school? Toodles. Hey, all you crazy wildcats. It's request time again, and this one goes out to Vice President Vinny Chicago to the person who took the air on his tires. Oops. Seems we have another request, folks, that goes something like this. Troy Bolton, you get your butt to basketball practice on the door of your private for a week. Later, Pete. And remember, the chain is on his strongest, weakest link. When the going gets tough, the top can't go. I guess you know that one. Okay, man, give me two minutes of weed, Joe, and show me some hustle. Sorry, I'm late, coach. Hey, you know that school musical thing? Pretty cool that Darvis is giving me extra credit just for auditioning. Do you think about LeBron James and she kill a new one for audition for the school musical? Yeah, but, like, the extra credit is good for college and all. You know what's better? A big fat basketball scholarship. Ow! You didn't get the ball. Get your head in the game. Man, you're my stuff. All right! Can you get in? Let's run the shuffle drills.
relationship between energy and principal quantum number equation class. Give it your best shot. Huh? I'm so glad I saw the children in 
your, your mind about socks and hats and the credentials like these. We'll win that time for sure. Where did those come from? Did you put them in the mind of Of course not. Oh, well, we love, we love to have them on the team. We meet them almost every day after school. I don't know. I really need to get caught up on the curriculum before I think about joining any clubs. But what a great way to get caught up in the new school! Meeting with the smartest kids? What a generous offer, Taylor! Well, you seem pretty smart and you never won it before. And please. Well, okay.
which is precisely what I am trying to instill. Hey, Adam, maybe just give me the cover of all the Celestine crackpot! <laughs> See, barely full of super dudes, but they're wreathed on their local coins. This is Jack Scott, and I'm not the 
shot Troy. Miss Service. Close and I said, now don't think. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. How does it feel? I don't know. Like, I'm flying, you know? Like, I'm soaring through the air. Like, like a bird or something. Anything's possible in the world of theater, Troy. You can be anyone you want to be. There's not a star in heaven that you can't reach just as long as you al allow yourself to risk. That's true for the both of you, Miss Montez. Oh, and by the way, Troy, you can open your eyes now. We're not doing the miracle worker, you know. Wow. Thanks, Miss Darvis. You two were so amazing. It's like exactly what I've been to my head. Bolton, Montez, you've got yourselves a callback. Kelsey, finish the finale and work on it with them. Um, if you want to rehearse, I'm usually in the music room during the free, free period and after school, and sometimes even during biology. Call me on the cell phone and I'm there. Or, if it's easier, I can give you a wake-up call if my accordion is mobile.
showing your top secret hiding place, just like kindergarten. Be your best friend.
Well, then I guess you don't know your own son as well as you think you do. But I won't allow Juliet and Romeo to be made into a farce. Juliet and Romeo? See? I knew it! Very well, Bolton. You leave me no choice. If Troy is actually serious about auditioning, he's going to have to prove it. I won't allow either one of you to make fools out of the drama club. Hey, you don't need my help to do that. And you, mister, I'm sorry, I'm flying. Hi, Miss Darkness. I thought you were genuine Troy. Wrong in, I guess. What was that all about? You want to tell me something, Bob? Something about singing? Uh, no. I mean, well, you know. No, I don't know. Darkness of the range, it's in my head. She thinks you're plotting something. No, I mean, I was just trying to help someone audition. That's it. It was nothing. You bet it's nothing. In case you forgot, you had the biggest of your life coming up in two days. You trying to get from real Bolton. Your team is depending on you. I was going to stay and work on my free throws. Did you realize practice? Again, that's the least you can do. Wow. So, this is your real stage? I guess you could call it that. Or just a smelly gym. Whoa! Don't tell me you can play hoops, too. I once scored 41 points in a league championship game. No way! The same guy I did the PlayStation and the iPad. <laughs> I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. I know. Me too. And I was just late for practice, so if I get kicked off the team, it'll be on your conscience. Hey, I... Gabrielle, chill. I'm sorry, miss! This is a close practice! But practice is over! Not till the last player leaves a gym ball. Team rules! Oh, I'm sorry, coach. Mom, this is Gabrielle Montez. You're the detention buddy? I'll see you later, Troy. Nice to meet you, Coach Bowen. Goodbye. Detention was my fault, not hers. You haven't been practicing three years. That girl shows up, you're like twice. That girl is named Gabriella. And she's very nice. Helping you miss practice is to make her very nice. Not my fault for your team. She's not a problem. She's just a girl. But you're not just a guy. You're the team leader. What do you do if that's not on this team? But the entire A lot of things are special. You go this chance, you were better the rest of your life. You mean, like you? You're a playmaker, Bolton, not a singer. Did you ever think maybe I could be both? My name is Troy, Mom, not Bolton.
Is this what you guys want to hear? Singing means nothing to me. Gabriella means nothing to me. I'll forget her, I'll forget the auditions, and we will get that championship. Anyone happy now? Troy? Troy Bolton? Uh, I think it's for you. Gabriella? What's going on? Guess what? I don't want to do the callbacks either. Who are we kidding? You've got your team, now I've got mine. I'll go in the, I'll go in the decathlon, you go in the championship. It's where we belong. Go Wildcats. But I don't want to. Me either. Goodbye. So, um, Gabriella, want to grab a coat? No. Well, um, see you later then. Hey, Troy, can you have some lunch?
and it ain't me. We'll get the parts. We always do. I'm not just talking about my role in the play, Brian. I'm talking about my role in the school. I'm not a jock. I'm not a brainiac. But you know what I am? I'm the star. That's my role. And if they take it away from me, then who am I? Well, you could just be sharp A for once. It's not so bad, is it? Are you brain dead? Nobody's gonna Fabulous, Ryan. I mean, come on! They made me after a flabby dog. We've gotten the parts every year since birth. If we get it again, great. If not, we'll still be fabulous. And besides, they could have named you Pug or Shizu. But Troy and them, that big. Look, maybe you would like to introduce yourself. Pardon me, Doctor Phil, but what do you know? You're just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Yeah, but those are eight important minutes. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were in here. Hi, Troy. Did you come and ask if you want to audition with me? The answer is yes. Ryan, you're fired. Charmaine. Um, no. Have you seen Gabriella? I really need to talk to her. Who? Forget it. Troy, I saw her about ten minutes ago. She was headed to the auditorium. Thanks, Ryan. You're all right. How did you stand? Thank you. 
First, we need to talk to our friends. Yeah, we have to tell them that we're doing the callbacks after all. Well, let's move it already! We're burning daylight!
Look at the callbacks today, Miss Darvis. What a dog ram. C. Chad. Spell it. Wait, Miss Darvis.
But just like in theater, our lives are defined by our choices. And Troy and Gabrielle have clearly chosen not to audition. Congratulations to all the cast of Mr. Stars, we're here. I called your names twice. Where were you? Please, just this one time. Rules are rules, Miss Montez. Give us a chance. Please, Mr. Stars. A chance to what, Troy? To make a joke out of something that means the world to me and your fellow classmates who came out to audition? But it's not a joke. I came because I want to give it my best shot. Please, we only have five minutes until the lights come back on. What's this? A full house? As president of the job club, I'll have to put my foot down. No preferential treatment. Those are your words, Miss Darvis, not mine. Miss Darvis, Sharpay lied to her because she was afraid of losing the part for herself. Shut up! Is he telling the truth? Did you knowingly lie and abuse your presidential privilege? I didn't lie. I improvised. A little. We'll talk about this later, Miss Evans. Off the stage, right now. But I off the stage. It's all yours. Troy, Gabriella, you may begin your callback. But we don't have a pianist. We'll sing without music. Oh no, you won't. Pianist here, Miss Darvish. You really don't want to do that. Okay. Oh 